Hey guys, I'm um, just gonna make a quick video about Wirecast. Uh, Wirecast is a software we use to make Facebook Lives and we'll eventually be doing a YouTube Live and Facebook Live at the same time, so look forward to that. Um, so if you guys ever wanna do that for your own brand, for your own businesses, um, I suggest Wirecast because there's a lot of tools and a lot of uses for it. So I'm just gonna show you quickly the, the layout of Wirecast. So when you first download it and you, uh, so we have the 495 version, uh, it's pretty good, it does pretty much everything we need for now. So there's a few things to look at first. The main thing is this big box right here and this little box. This big box is your preview window and this little box is your live window. So everything that's in this preview is what you see. Everything that's in this live window is what your audience sees. So let's make an image or something show up. So in order to create images and add audio file tracks, uh, you need to create a shot. So it default sets you up with a shot. So we're gonna click this shot and then we're gonna go to this little plus sign. So let's uh, capture device. So let's capture um, my screen. So now you can see, hey. Um, and now, but do you see how it's not showing up live? Uh, that's because I haven't pressed this button. So now if I press this button, my audience can now see that. So there might be something else you want to do. Maybe uh, you want to add some text. So you can make that in a different shot if you want. The whole, the whole point of the shots is layering. So whatever's on top is what's being shown. Um, so if I had two shots, um, the one above is going to have priority over the one below. So let's add some text. So let's do, we're going to click that little plus button and we went down to text. Uh, we can name it whatever we want. We don't care. Um, and actually, I don't want to use that. Let's try something else. So you can just create default text, but they have actually templates that I think is better. So we're going to go to titles. I'll click that. And here you see these are the templates I was talking about. So let's go with this and click that, hit OK. And now uh, we have this cool little thing. So if you wanted to name it uh, your brand or whatever the name of the live cast it was. So. And then, so this source name, and so how I got there, by the way, is I went up to the top left and I hit these little three dots. Source name doesn't really matter, won't show up anywhere. It's only for your personal use uh, organization. So Hollywood, now if you want to change uh, this little title, we we'll just click it. Um, YouTube tutorial. Um, and now we have it there. Now, if we want to manipulate it and move it around, if you notice, if I just drag it, it's, it's only going to move that one piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Shift. I'm holding down Shift, and then we can move it anywhere, anywhere we want. Um, and then if you want to adjust the sizes and etc., you can go like that. Go with the scaling. Uh, now that's being a little weird, and so you probably want to adjust the scale individually. Um, so adjust each of these layers individually to make the scale even. You can affect the opacity, um, rotation. And I'm just hitting Command Z to reset that. Now you can do some fun stuff. Now a lot of times as you see um, in my videos I'll usually be in the bottom right. And so the way I set that up is uh, you can create a new shot. I'm going to go to Capture Devices. And so actually let me show you uh, what would... So if you wanted to show your monitor, so what's happening on screen, go to Screen Capture and then you can name whatever you want. I'm gonna do capture video, and usually you wanna show your cursor uh, so people can follow along. And you'll click monitor, and you can uh, select the window. I have two displays, I have the iMac and the Thunderbolt display. Um, and I'm not gonna do that right now because that will kind of be weird for the recording, but that's what you do. So then you'd have, uh, so imagine this shot right here is uh, your screen, and you wanna have a talking head, so where it'd be you in the corner. You create a new shot, go to Capture Devices, and then you would choose uh, your camera. So uh, my computers have uh, inbuilt cameras, so you just choose the first one. And now nothing shows up because it's the same size as this shot down here. If I go and I scale this down, boom, we have a talking head. And I just move myself over here to the right, and now uh, you can see my face but you wouldn't get the audio, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes 
It might default and give you the audio, but uh, if you're not getting audio, what you can do is you hit the plus button, go to capture devices, and you go to choose your mic. So you have, uh, so I have three mics currently. I have uh, two built-in mics for my monitors, and then I have this Yeti, Yeti stereo, ooh, stereo mic um, that I can use. And so you then you just we'll just add that, and now uh, we have two audio files. Uh, so now people will be able to hear your audio. And you'll be able to tell because you'll see these green bars on the left. I'm just going to delete that, actually. And the way to delete that is to hit the minus, because I don't want it messing up with the recording. But as you notice, the live, it's still the only the original image. So what you have to do is you have to click all these, and then you hit live. And it has a cool default setting where it kind of fades it in, which is really nice. And uh, that's that. Now, if you want to. If you hit these buttons over here, and clear, now it clears um, everything, all the shots. So imagine you had like seven or eight shots in here, you could clear them all at once, like that. And now if we went live, it's not going to show anything. So then uh, if you want to make it go live again, it's still not live because it's only in the preview, we're going to hit the button, boom. And if uh, you wanted to crop, you can do some more adjustments here. So say I didn't want some of these boxes or some of this in the background. I'm going to go to my shot right here. I'm going to hit crop. And as you can see, I can just kind of do that. Make it smaller, move it to the right. Now it's uh, much more just me. So that's a little quick overview of Wirecast. On a future video, I'll be showing you how to stream live and uh, how to set up your own recording and eventually how to do a YouTube Live and Facebook Live at the same time. Facebook doesn't want you to do that, but there are workarounds uh, to do it both. So look forward to that. Thanks so much for your guys' comments, and I'll be making more videos that you guys want. Take care.